Guess what we're doing today? So you guys, this week we put up a poll on our community tab. Didn't see it? Make sure you click that bell and turn on all notifications so you know whenever we put stuff on our community tab, as well as when new videos come up. We asked you guys if you wanted to see us make beef barley for dogs or vegetable beef for dogs. And by an overwhelming vote from you guys, we are making beef barley soup for dogs. Let's get into it. Now the first thing we are going to need for this recipe is about one pound of some type of beef. Side note you guys, I'm making a lot of this because I tend to freeze it for the dogs and use it over time. You can always half this recipe or make a little bit less. This is one of those recipes where all the ingredients do not have to be exact. It will still turn out pretty good. But our choice for beef instead of hamburger, sometimes we would use like a 90-10 hamburger, we actually have a steak. I believe this was a sirloin steak, and it was 20% off because it had to be sold today. It's good enough for the dogs. Would have been good enough for us too. We are going to take and we are going to cut this into a bunch of little tiny cubes. And yes, for those of you wondering, our dogs do get raw from time to time. It is not their entire diet, but they do get supplemental raw feeding. But we are gonna cook this. Our meat is cut up, now we are gonna go ahead and saute this for about two minutes. I am actually using my Instant Pot for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in there, throw these in there and fry it up. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this, just fry the meat up on a pan, and then as we go, I'll tell you what you need to do with the rest of it. I did save you guys one more bite. One more bite. Oh man, you're gonna get so many bites today. All right, let's fry this up. Saute it up. I would also like to mention I'm not adding any seasoning to this. Just a little bit of oil and go ahead and let it saute. Meat is slightly cooked, just a little bit pink in the middle. Now we're gonna go ahead and make the broth. The first thing we're gonna use, one cup of our homemade bone broth. Does that smell amazing? It does smell amazing. If you don't want to watch the other bone broth video, I'll give you a real quick rundown on how we do this, okay? I got some beef femurs, a pig's foot. Pig's feet have lots of collagen in them. I'm going to fill the water up to the half a line mark. By the way, I'm doing this in my Instant Pot today. I'm going to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, and I'm going to put it in my Instant Pot for two hours. Then I'm going to let it cool, and then I'm going to scrape the fat off the top. There's a quick rundown on how to make bone broth. You can also add seasonings and stuff, but if you want more information on it, go watch the bone broth bit video. We're just gonna go ahead and pour that into the Instant Pot. Next, we will be adding six total cups of water. As I said, I'm making quite a bit of this, so we're gonna go ahead and pour that in. The next thing I'm going to be adding is about a half a tablespoon of beef base. I am using Miner's Beef Base. Stir that in. It's gonna give it that nice, pretty color. At this point, I am also adding a sprinkle of basil and a sprinkle of oregano. Some oregano, some basil as well. Now, as I said, I'm using my Instant Pot. Just the broth is in here right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the keep warm to slowly start warming that up while I go ahead and prepare these other ingredients. About a cup of carrots. This is more than a cup. I'm not really gonna use all these. Um, I bought julienne carrots. You can chop up carrots any way you would like. You just know, you're like, mom, there's carrots and I love them. Love them, yeah, I know, oh, good stuff. You're such a good chewer. And we're just gonna go ahead and add some carrots. Next, we're gonna dice up two stalks of celery. Again, if your dogs don't do well with celery, just leave it out. That's the best part of cooking. If your dogs don't do well with it, leave it out, do something else. <laughs> celery is diced. Do you like a piece of celery? Watch, Memphis won't chew it. Oh, she did. Two bites, maybe three. Celery, you'll chew it, won't ya? Super chew it. I'll spit it out, then I'll chew it some more, then I'll spit it out. <laughs> Celery in. Next, we're gonna dice up some fresh green beans. What do you think of this? Would you like a raw green bean? How about you, you want one? Why did you burp when you opened your mouth? How's the green bean? Delicious? Delicious? All right, we're gonna cut these up and add them. Time to add the green beans. A little bit less than a cup to what I ended up cutting up. And last but not least, one small rutabaga. I'm gonna peel this and dice it up. 
All right, adding my rutabaga. Would you like to try a piece of meat now that it's cooked? Like it better cooked or raw? They're like, we don't know, we just like it. And last but not least, all the meat goes in. Now I'm actually gonna cook my barley separate from my soup. So for now, we have everything in the pot. We're gonna put the lid on this. Are you ready? All right, lids on, vents closed, soup broth for about 10 minutes. Now, as I said, if you don't have an instant pot and you're just doing this in a big pot on your stove, you wanna bring everything to a boil, boil it for about eh, five to 10 minutes. You just really want the rutabagas to get soft and the celery to get soft. So about 10 minutes and then you can turn it down to a simmer for about another 15 to 20 minutes. Is waiting the hardest part? You don't wanna leave the kitchen because waiting's the hardest part? <laughs> this is a good time to remind you guys that this is a treat. We are actually making this as a food topper for our dog, so it will go on top of a little bit of their food. You can use this as a meal replacement if you would like to. If you know a lot about dog nutrition, please feel free to do that. But we're making it as a topper for something fun. All right, you got a while to wait, you guys. You don't, you don't have to wait in the kitchen. We can go wait in the other room. Or you can hang out in here. That's fine, too. So, it looks pretty good. Whole bunch of stuff in it. My rutabagas are nice and soft. So is the celery. Now, we're going to let this cool, because we don't want to give this to the dogs when it's super hot. So we're going to let this cool, and we're going to go ahead and prepare our barley. So now we're going to make some barley. What I'm going to do is I'm going to boil one cup of water, and then add half a cup of barley. All right, barley's done. We added it to the soup. I think it's time to let the dogs try it. Are you ready? You want to you try this? Are you ready for some soup? All right, we got to get Kira though. We both try it together. All right, here we go. One scoop on their meal. Ready? Ooh, look at all the goodness. Check that out. All right, I got to get Memphis's. All right, Memphis's turn. It's hard to do with one hand. Get it all on there. And for those of you that are going to ask, yes, these are slow feed bowls. I'll put some Amazon affiliate links to them down below. Both of my dogs eat a little bit fast. So this just kind of slows them down and makes eating more of a game because they have to figure out how to get food. All right, you both have been waiting ever so patiently. Let's have some lunch. Well, I think somebody's excited. Can you sit? Yeah, can you speak? Speak. Good job. Can you... Okay, 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 okay. All right. Oh, no. There's yours. Come here. Kira's like, I could do it too. Can you sit? Hold on. Ready? Sit. Good girl. Can you turn around? She's like, I did. Want to try again? Turn around? I did. Give me my food. Oh, there you go. Oh my goodness. Is it delicious? What do you think over here? Memphis is like, I already got all the good stuff off, guys. This is best ever. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for voting and helping us figure out which one to make for the girls. Like I said, click that bell, turn on all notifications so that you guys might be able to vote on the next treat video. And as always, leave some comments down below. Let us know what you would like to see us make next. If you end up making this for your dogs, please go ahead and tag us on Instagram, either in a story or on your Instagram wall so that we can uh, check it out. <laughs> They're like, yes, this is a great. All right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, audience. I think they like it. Pretty sure they think it's delicious. Lots of fun, lots of wants, what you come into us